Well, thank you all for all coming. And um, again, like I said in the video, um, we're really excited about this year. Uh, we have a great mix uh, of senior leadership. Uh, a lot of young guys came in and are really hungry, and it's going to push us to the next level. Uh, who knows where that may lead? Uh, I do believe that we were better than last year, and uh, I think we're already better than last year at this point. So who knows what's going to happen, but I feel like everything goes according to plan. We're going to do just fine. And uh, like I said, move back up where we're supposed to be in the conference and the region. There's a, there's an energy about this team. They really they really they really want it. And they're going after it. They really rally each other. I think it's a combination of the senior leadership and then giving them the freshmen the kind of way to go and we kind of what's been the kind of I guess a legacy that's left behind and they want to leave behind. Um, it really is exciting to see what what we can do based off just just a few practices we've already had. Sort of an annual question, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's an individual pursuit and it's still a team sport. So for, for both Brandon and Elijah, what, um, uh, you know, how do you kind of blend you know, what, you're trying to, what you're trying to accomplish individually with you know, bringing the team along with you? Um, I think over the years, I've really learned a lot about myself. Uh, it's really a lot of mental uh, preparedness and mental strength in, in the sport that gets you through it, but also having a great team aspect is what's really going to make the big difference. Last year we had a lot of injuries that were kind of holding back our team and this year our team chemistry is just so much better all around and we're all healthy for the first time and already just in the, these two weeks of preseason we're already seeing a lot of improvement. Um, our time trial first day of practice last week already much better times than last year. And I think we're all really pushing each other. We had a, some solid workouts already. And I think we're really going to have a great season. Yeah. And I would just say for, like, the individual part, like, it, it's really, like, individually, like, it is, it like, somewhat an individual thing where you have to, like, fight, like fight your battles, like, in the races. Because it's, like, it's really hard. You always have that mindset of, like, or always there's one point in the race where you're like, I need to like, do I need to slow up? And you're like, no, you gotta go faster kind of, you gotta fight that. And also like after races, it's good having teammates. So like after a bad race to like build you up because like the next workout, like you have to like, for your team, you kind of have to um, like bounce back. So it's good to have them. How much does that have, whether it's partners or whatever, I mean, you, how, how much is having a, a, you know, a deeper team with people who are more competitive running, well, how does it drive top runners individually? Um, I think teammates who were there. I think last year the, we had a really large spread. We had one top guy that was way ahead of the rest of us, and I kind of think that kind of put the rest of us down because we were so far behind him and not being able to catch him, whereas this year we all are running it together as a pack and pushing each other and with when you have a pack of runners that can it just there's something about it that just really drives you to push even harder whereas when you get in to kind of what we call a no man's land and you're all all by yourself you're you just kind of start thinking like oh how am I going to get through this or how like why am I doing this? But then, <laughs> you know, but then, like when you're with your team, you really experience like this is why I'm doing this. This is like what it's all about. The team dynamic is what will get us to nationals. We're not. We're very team oriented. We're trying to make history this year and go to the national championship for the first time as a team. And I think we really have a good shot at that. So it's just something about it that just whenever you have those runners, especially those that you've seen develop, and we have a really young team this year, a lot of freshmen and a lot of seniors, That so we kind of get to help them out, but also they push us to be our best selves and set good examples, so we just really are able to push each other. Uh, no, I'm good. I agree. <laughs> Talked about having maybe both balanced teams or whatever. So, so, 
the, the summer was, was basically the, the time I, I knew we were going to have a special year. Uh, some of the seniors kind of took under the wing of some of the freshmen already. I mean, one of the, which is unheard of for us normally, uh, some freshmen moved in early and trained with some of the guys over the summer, uh, which makes a huge difference. I mean, like I said, the leadership is everything. I mean, Coach Bart mentioned it. it it's, it's such a key role. If, and a lot of things that we take for granted as, as coaches, they're, they're their own coaches at that point, and they're helping each other out. And it really is uh, special to see what this group has done in, in two weeks. I mean, the, the, the energy about the team and just the way they have, you know, each and every day they're, they're gathering, they're pushing each other. You see them cheering each other on after workouts. Things are hard. Things are, you know, easy. They still rally in behind that. And they're, they're always running together. You see them together. And, and that, that just makes that freshman kid want to be just like the senior kid one day. And I believe that's the legacy that these guys want to leave behind. And uh, I think that's the legacy that this program has established over the years.